what we are architecting here at HQ is truly unprecedented in modern history. I am extremely excited and proud to share with you today two landmark demonstrations that instantiates our vision. Constructing a chip with 5 billion transistors about the size of a coin that scales across micro and macro cells is nothing short of trivial. Now, imagine packing the equivalent of 10 chipsets into a single elastic silicon consisting of 4G, 5G, CPU, NPU and AI. And all this in a singular design completely software defined. More profoundly, this is really about reconstructing the 5G network in cloud terms that is simple, elastic and virtual. It is about shifting the industry towards open RAN. It is about softwareizing the 5G connectivity. And you will see firsthand the technology fundamentals from HQ enabling this novel infrastructure. Let us start with a video streaming application through a 5G network. Content is stored in cloud of an application server. For a video to stream wirelessly onto your phone, tablet or laptop, it needs to go through a handshake connection between the core network and the local access point. This is precisely what we have replicated here in the first demo. What you're witnessing live here is the 5G small cell supporting the L1, L2, L3 RAN stack. All the functionalities of RU, DU, CU, all on a single chip. What you're effectively seeing is an all-in-one small cell complete with the baseband, AI and RFIC running on ORAN split option zero. Most impressively, this demo shows an end-to-end -end flow in which we have used a two antenna UE module to represent a client device. As you can see, it is performing at a theoretical bandwidth limit of 800 megabits per second of user rate or application rate. With that baseline, we now want to push the envelope. We have pushed the performance up to 2.2 gigabits per second for a four antenna configuration to support multiple end users. In this demo, a single chip access point is supporting multiple user streams running 256 QAM and 100 MHz of NR bandwidth. What you have just witnessed is an all-in-one small cell solution screaming at 2.2 gigabits per second of performance but humming at less than 20 watts of full solution power. A historic precedence indeed. And it hasn't even broken a sweat yet. There is enough headroom in the single HQ chip to scale up to many carriers of 100 MHz each resulting in aggregate throughput of 10 gigabits per second. The solution can seamlessly scale from two antenna to four antenna configuration for fixed wireless application or enterprise application. But what we are most proud of is our chip supporting the entire gamut of indoor and outdoor small cells at breakthrough economic cost point. Now take the same chip and let us reprogram it to a DU macro base station application. We keep the same construct, but replace the UE module with a RU emulator. In this second demo, our HQ SOC, acting as a layer one accelerator, is paired with an x86 server to represent a full DU base station solution running 4G and 5G physical layer and layer two software. What you will see is an inline acceleration of L1 running at 2.2 gigabits per second. This is set up for a single carrier, four layers, running over an eCPRI interface of an option split 7.2. Realize the same chip that is powering a 4x4 small cell is now also powering a DU base station, processing up to 64 antenna massive MIMO configuration. One design, one core IP, all software defined. What has been truly extraordinary is watching our silicon breathe life into the 5G network. We have shown how an entire cloud can be compacted down to a single silicon that powers an all-in-one small cell or a DU server. We have shown a scalable architecture running on RISC-V architecture, completely software driven at breakthrough economics and power levels. This has been a phenomenal journey and we still have a few more things to show you. Until next time, from the edge.